Hi, I'm Danny Ecker in for Lisa Leiter. Here's what's happening in Chicago business today. A growing number of Chicago suburbs are bolting away from electricity provider Commonwealth Edison in favor of cost-cutting alternatives. The village of North Aurora knocked 26 percent off ComEd's power prices in the latest deal, adding to a list of others turning away from Chicagoland's dominant power player. And now bigger cities may follow suit given the higher than 20 percent savings gained through collective power buying rather than the typical 10 to 15 percent that individuals can get from shopping around. One source tells Cranes that as much as 20 percent of ComEd's 3.8 million customers could hit the road using municipal contracting, which allows providers to offer cheaper power by reducing the high cost of customer acquisition. Well, a new report out today from the Chicago Metropolitan Planning Council is rallying support for a $1.2 billion bus rapid transit system to be implemented on 10 major Chicago streets. The proposal outlines specific underserved public transportation areas that could benefit from a new system without having a major impact on vehicle traffic. The idea has been kicked around by CTA and City Hall in the past as cities like Pittsburgh, Los Angeles and other international metro areas have successfully built such systems. Of course, the big question is how it would be funded. The construction cost is estimated to be $13 million a mile. In comparison, building a conventional heavy rail system like the L can cost upwards of $100 million per mile. Well, Illinois hospital executives say they are being left in the dark about how they're being judged after three nonprofit hospitals were denied property tax exemptions yesterday. Requests from Prentice Women's at Northwestern Memorial Hospital, Edward Hospital in Naperville, and Decatur Memorial Hospital were denied on the basis that they were not being used for charitable purposes, but the hospitals say they were not informed how the Illinois Department of Revenue came to its conclusions. Losing tax-exempt status could cost a nonprofit hospital millions of dollars in property taxes. A revenue department official would not specify to Cranes why the three hospitals were denied, but said there is no set percentage or dollar amount of charity required and that the department considers broader community benefits hospitals offer. And finally, Northern Trust has a new head of corporate strategy and market development. Jason Tyler was previously the senior vice president and director of research operations at Chicago money management firm Ariel Investments. The new job reports directly to Northern Trust chairman and CEO Frederick Waddell and plays a role in high level big picture decision making for the company. Tyler comes from a background in middle market commercial banking and focused on financial services investments while at Ariel. And those are a few of the headlines we're following in Chicago business today. Be sure to stick with chicagobusiness.com for more news throughout the day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.